Bibles, if you would, to Psalm 18, found in your Pew Bible on page 576, the 18th Psalm of David. morning as we come to the Word of God, we'll be looking together just at verses 1 to 3, as you can see in the outline in your bulletin. I want to read the whole passage for us, this entire psalm, that it might put even these opening verses in the right context and perspective for us. Let us therefore hear the Word of the Lord. <clears throat> I love you, O Lord, my strength. The Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer. My God, my rock, in whom I take refuge, my shield and the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. I call upon the Lord, who is worthy to be praised, and I am saved from my enemies. The cords of death encompassed me, the torrents of destruction assailed me, the cords of Sheol entangled me, the snares of death confronted me. In my distress I called upon the Lord, to my God I cried for help. From his temple he heard my voice, and my cry to him reached his ears. Then the earth reeled and rocked. The foundations also of the mountains trembled and quaked, because he was angry. Smoke went up from his nostrils, and devouring fire from his mouth. Glowing coals flamed forth from him. He bowed the heavens and came down. Thick darkness was under his feet. He rode on a cherub and flew. He came swiftly on the wings of the wind. He made darkness his covering, his canopy around him, thick clouds dark with water. Out of the brightness before him, hailstones and coals of fire broke through his clouds. The Lord also thundered in the heavens, and the Most High uttered his voice, hailstones and coals of fire. And he sent out his arrows and scattered them. He flashed forth lightnings and routed them. Then the channels of the sea were seen, and the foundations of the world were laid bare at your rebuke. O Lord, at the blast of the breath of your nostrils. He sent from on high, he took me. He drew me out of many waters. He rescued me from my strong enemy and from those who hated me, for they were too mighty for me. They confronted me in the day of, of my calamity, but the Lord was my support. He brought me out into a broad place. He rescued me because he delighted in me. The Lord dealt with me according to my righteousness. According to the cleanness of my hands, he rewarded me. For I have kept the ways of the Lord and have not acted and have not wickedly departed from my God. For all his rules were before me, and his statutes I did not put away from me. I was blameless before him, and I kept myself from my guilt. So the Lord has rewarded me according to my righteousness, according to the cleanness of my hands in his sight. With the merciful you show yourself merciful. With the blameless man you show yourself blameless. With the purified you show yourself pure. And with the crooked you make yourself seem torturous. For you save a humble people. For the haughty eyes you bring down. For it is you who light my lamp. The Lord my God lightens my darkness. For by you I can run against a troop. And by my God I can leap over a wall. This God, his way is perfect. The word of the Lord proves true. He is a shield for all those who take refuge in him. For who is God but the Lord? And who is a rock except our God? The God who equipped me with strength and made my way blameless. He made my feet like the feet of a deer and set me secure on the heights. He trained my hands for war so that my arms can bend a bow of bronze. You have given me the shield of your salvation and your right hand supported me. And your gentleness made me great. You gave me a wide place for my steps under me, and my feet did not slip. I pursued my enemies and overtook them and did not turn back till they were consumed. I thrust them through so that they were not able to rise. They fell under my feet. For you equipped me with strength for the battle. You made those who rise against me sink under me. You made my enemies turn their backs to me, and those who hated me I destroyed. They cried for help, but there was none to save. They cried to the Lord, but he did not answer them. I beat them fine as dust before the wind. I cast them out like the mire of the streets. You delivered me from strife with the people. 
You made me the head of the nations. People whom I had not known served me. As soon as they heard of me, they obeyed me. Foreigners came cringing to me. Foreigners lost heart and came trembling out of their fortresses. The Lord lives, and blessed be my rock, and exalted be the God of my salvation, the God who gave me vengeance and subdued peoples under me, who delivered me from my enemies. Yes, you exalted me above those who rose against me. You rescued me from the man of violence. For this I will praise you, O Lord, among the nations, and sing to your name. Great salvation he brings to his king, and shows steadfast love to his anointed, to David and his offspring forever. Thus saith the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let's pray together. O great and almighty God, how wonderful you have been to us. Your way is perfect, O God, and you have blessed us abundantly. Our blessings are innumerable. We cannot count them. So good have you been. Thank you, O Father, for your faithfulness and your kindness. Would you bless now this word into our hearts by your Spirit? Would you call us unto yourself and turn our hearts toward you, that we may love you, that we may exalt in you, that we may trust you, O God, and be comforted by your great grace. In Jesus' name. Well, congregation, it goes without saying that Psalm 18 is a psalm of reflection. As I mentioned earlier in the service, it was written by David in a time when he looked back over the course of his trouble-filled life, and he saw the Lord's many mercies and deliverances as so many beacons dotting the otherwise dark landscape of a sinner's unworthy life. Before every enemy, the Lord stood as a shield for David. From every snare, the Lord delivered him. Over every enemy, the Lord gave him victory. From every false charge, the Lord vindicated him. In every battle, the Lord fought as his captain and equipped him to fight as a faithful soldier under him. From every distress, the Lord rescued him. It's a psalm written in David's old age, a psalm after many years of experiencing the Lord's faithful care and love. It's a psalm only a Christian could write, and in some respects, it's a psalm only an old Christian could write, one who has walked with the Lord for many years and can testify of great faithfulness and many deliverances. But for all of the mercies covered in its 50 Verses. I want to direct your attention this morning to the opening three verses. Because these verses provide the basis and the ground for the entire psalm. They provide the only foundation strong enough to uphold the mountain of mercies that fills this psalm from verse 4 to verse 50. What can uphold, what can bear up such testimony, such goodness, such a plethora of kindness is poured out upon a poor sinner. What can uphold such a testimony in one's old age? Upon what basis can any sinner coming to his elderly years look back and sing such a song? Only upon such a foundation as we find in these opening verses. The strong foundation of mercy is comprised of three things. The might or the strength of God, the covenant of God, and the faithfulness of God. It should be obvious then what's at the base of this mountain of mercies. The Lord God himself. And not David. Let's look at this first part of this foundation Every single mercy David had received and enjoyed over the course of his long life was due to the arm of God's almighty power bringing it about. When the men of this world approach the end of their days, they look back and they set up trophies for themselves to mark what they have done and where they have been. But not David. As David approached the end of his life, as David approached the shores of death, David looked back and triumphed 
in his God. Because whether it was a grand deliverance, or whether it was a hair's breadth escape, or whether an enemy had fallen under his bloody sword, David knew that he could not take credit for any of it. None of it had been due to his strength. None of it had been due to his resolve. None of it had been due to his wisdom, his cunning, his intellect. None of it had been due to his family, his heritage. It was all from the Lord himself. He knew that whatever strength he had, whatever strength and wisdom and skill he displayed, even on the battlefield, it was from the Lord. Whatever victories he enjoyed were gifts from above. God was the captain of his salvation both on and off the battlefield. God was the arm of his salvation. God was the strength behind his victories. God was the might of David's kingdom. God was the very power of David's reign over all Israel. When God finally brought him peace. And David was so grateful for this fact. And David was so deeply affected by God's remarkable and undeserved goodness to him. At the end of his life, as he looked back after 